Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you a new feature in Power Apps called the Power Automate Pane. This allows us to create the flow directly within the Power Apps Studio experience itself. Yes, the experience of creating or calling a flow from Power Apps is now seamless. Let's check it out in action. Let's take a first look at the new Power Automate panel feature for Power Apps. In make.powerapps.com, I will create a blank app, select a blank canvas app, give my app a name, and click Create. Now, in Power Apps, to call a flow, we need an on demand call to Power Automate, and typically we leverage a button control to go ahead and call our flow. And to do that, we head over to the action option in the menu, select power automate. This loads up all the flows that have the power apps based trigger. So we can associate an existing flow with our app or right at the bottom, we have the option to create a new flow. When I select this, it will take me to flow.microsoft.com. Here I can select the existing templates or begin with a simple Power Apps button template and start designing my flow. Now this experience was a clunky experience, which had many issues. If the schema of the flow changed in terms of passing more input parameters, our Power Apps would break. Many a times, Power Apps would not reflect the changes in the schema that was made in flow. And we had to come back to Power Apps, delete the flow, reassociate, and back and forth. Now with the new experience, which we need to first enable by heading over to settings, going to upcoming features, and this one is called the Power Automate Pane, which is the new experience to integrate Power Automate inside of Power Apps. I will go ahead and turn this on and say OK. Now on the left hand side, we have this new Power Automate Pane option. If I select this, here, it provides me the option to go ahead and create a new flow. When I click on this button, the Power Automate experience will now light up directly inside of Power Apps. I am presented with all the Power Apps based trigger templates. Plus, I have the ability to create a flow from blank. Let's go ahead and click on create from blank. This will launch the flow creation experience as well directly within Power Apps. And it will apply the Power Apps based trigger for us. So, Power Apps calling the flow. Next, let's say in this example, I would like to send a simple email from Flow. I will pick send an email. Who do I want to send the email to? This I want to pass as a parameter from Power Apps to Flow. I will switch to advanced mode. And here is that ask in Power Apps option under dynamic content. If I select this, it will create an input parameter that I will have to pass from Power Apps to Flow. The subject, I will hard code to Power Apps calling Flow. And the body of the email, that also I will ask as an input parameter in Power Apps. I will go ahead and give my flow a name and click save. Now, the moment I do that, it will associate the new flow that I just created directly with my Power App. And that association is available right here in the In Your App section in the Power Automate pane. Now, if I head over to my button and I would like to call this flow, all I have to do is start entering the name of that flow, which is send email flow. IntelliSense will guide me through. Send email flow dot run is the command to run the flow. And those are the two parameters that I need to pass to the flow. I've just gone ahead and added a few controls so user can enter who they want to send the email to and they can also give their message. Now when the send email button is clicked, I'm calling the flow. The first parameter is who do you want to send this to? So I'll pick the two text box dot text. And what's the body of the email? 
that's the message text box dot text now if i was to preview this app and enter the email address and then click on the send email button this will go ahead and trigger that flow and send an email to the email address that i passed from power apps to flow and also include this message here is the email that i have received and here is the message that i plugged in inside power apps now the beauty of this is even if i make a change to the flow directly from within power apps power apps will be aware of the schema updates that are made in flow so the flow that's connected is right here if i was to click this and go to edit it will open the edit experience for that same flow once again right inside the context of power apps this time let's say the subject of the email as well i will add that as an input parameter under dynamic content i will go to see more and click on ask in power apps so it creates another parameter now for the subject so i've made a schema update to the flow i am changing the input parameter now the moment you do something like that if you notice flow checker already warns you it says you may break your power apps triggered flow with the changes on the trigger which is true but now thanks to this new power automate panel if i was to save my flow and close the flow experience immediately if you observe on the left hand side it's refreshing the connection to power automate and because of that power apps will directly notify me if there is any error and we can see that error right here it says there is a third parameter that it is expecting and that parameter is the subject i've gone ahead and added a control so the user can enter the subject as well so for send email the third parameter now would be the subject text box control dot text let's preview the app i have entered the subject now if i click on send email this time the email that i receive has the subject that i have dynamically passed as a parameter as well if you want to add existing flows using this panel go to add flow and this will list out all the flows in your environment you also have the ability to create additional flows right here on the fly another thing that i want you to be aware of is if i was to create a new flow and let's say i pick create from blank the trigger action that you see here is the v1 trigger for power apps so if you need input parameters you need to have actions that you add in your flow for example here i've added a compose action if i want to ask for a parameter from power apps i have to keep clicking this button ask in power apps there is a v2 version of the power apps trigger if you want to use that just delete this trigger action go back to the power apps connector and you will see the v2 trigger as well here the input parameters you can directly define through the add an input experience so if i have text information coming from power apps can pick the type as text give this a name and this will create a parameter info and once you have your flow built out if i simply click save it will associate this flow with my power app and if i want to call this new flow that i created once again to start typing in the name of that flow and intellisense will give us the run method associated with that flow and here it's expecting a parameter of type text and the parameter name is info if you made changes to the schema of your flow directly in flow.microsoft.com and not through power apps you can simply go and click the refresh button so it refreshes the schema of your flow and you also have the ability to remove this flow association from your app i'll show you a real world example of a scenario in which you would want to call a flow from power apps here i have an inspection reporting app wherein the inspectors can go on site take pictures take notes related to the inspection put in feedback comments and more here i have an inspection that was completed i will head over to check details so i can see all the details of that inspection and right here on the top i have an icon for pdf now when i select that icon it will go ahead and call a flow that will in turn go ahead and generate a pdf report of this inspection form i will click on pdf it will go ahead and send me the inspection report 
here is the email that I receive and here is the attached inspection report PDF that has all the details of that inspection, including the pictures that were captured. Now this is an example of a power app in which I connected the flow using the old experience, which is basically going to action and power automate and associating your flow. Now a scenario in which I already have an existing association. What if I want to make certain modifications to my flow, specifically to the schema of my flow and take advantage of the latest power automate pane feature. So once again, I will head over to settings, upcoming features and enable the pane. We can see it on the left hand side. Here is my associated flow. If I go to edit, it will directly open my flow within the power apps experience itself. And this flow, the only parameter that I'm passing is the ID of the inspection. And then I go and grab all the information related to that item, my data sources, SharePoint. So get the item info, get all the attachments, which are the pictures, then create HTML, create a file in OneDrive, convert it to PDF and email it out. Now, if you notice here, the email that's going out is hard coded. It's always going to Reza. Let's make this dynamic. I will go to dynamic content and for power apps, I will pick ask in power apps. So now the flow will expect an additional parameter for the two email property. Also the PDF document that's getting generated. Maybe I would like to put a message inside that PDF document itself. So here's my HTML that generates that PDF. I'll go ahead and make an update here. I've just added an extra section in between the note that I want to enter. I will head over once again to dynamic content and click ask in power apps. Now that I have that in play, I'll go ahead and save my flow. Schema updates have been made to this flow. I will close my flow. Immediately power apps will get the latest updates of that flow. Notice my flow call from this icon on select is throwing an error. That's because I now need to pass extra two parameters. I've gone ahead and added a text control for note. So here my parameter, what's the note? That's txt note.txt. And who do you want to send the email to? I'll pick user.email. That's the current logged in user who is running the app. Now, if I preview the app, I have plugged in a note. I will click on PDF. The flow has triggered. It sent me an email with the PDF document attached. And right here is the note that I plugged in. Now you also have the ability to send data back from Power Automate to Power Apps. So for example, here, if I was to edit my flow, right at the end here, after I send the email, I can go ahead and respond to my Power App directly from flow. And the response as well, I can provide different types of outputs. Let's say I send text called success. I'll pass the text yes. I've made a change. I'll click save. I've made a schema update. And now if I head back to my power app where I'm calling the flow, if I put a dot right after this, it will also give me the output parameters that I pass from flow to power apps. So that's all about the new power automate pane experience. Let me know what you think about this new feature in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.